Hey folks, what's up? It's Adam here, I can see the guy. Welcome to another review. Um, if you've been keeping up with my channels, you know, lately I've been reviewing the um, Van Damme movies, the Jean Claude Van Damme movies, which I don't mind because I think the Jean Claude Van Damme movies are, are great, or at least some of them. The majority of them are great. There's one of you, two bad ones. Like Street Fighter, that movie can fucking go to hell. I fucking hate that movie. Um, or I could talk about the movie which I've done previously before. This one, Black Eagle, I didn't think that was very good either. But on the positive side, Van Damme's made some great action movies. You know, I liked him in um, Lionheart. I liked him in um, Double Impact. Kickboxer. Cyborg. You know, there's so many great movies that Van Damme has done. And I'll watch any movie of Van Damme that I've not seen before. But one Van Damme movie I want to talk about right now, which I think is one of his best ones, um, is this movie right here, Death Warrant, which I'm reviewing now. Um, and I've got it on Blu-ray in this triple edition. You know, I've got The Lionheart, The Death Warrant, and Black Eagle, all in a three-disc Blu-ray right here. Nice little set. Now, Death Warrant, like I say, it's going to be one of Van Damme's best. And like I say, it's one of my personal favourites also. You know, I've not got round to watching all of Van Damme's movies just yet. There's still one or two that I need to check out before I make my mind up, which is my favourite one. But like I say, I like Lionheart. I love Hard Target. love all those movies. But I'd have to say my favourite one so far, which I've seen so far, has got to be Death Warrant. Okay. I might come across a different Van Damme movie in the future and say that one's my new favourite. Because like I say, he's made so many great action movies, you know. Sometimes it's hard to tell which one is your favourite one. But I have to say, my favourite one so far is going to be Death Warrant. You know, where he plays the undercover cop in the prison. You know, basically. Uh, Death Warrant was made in 1990, I believe. Let me check that out. Um, yeah, the official release date was September 14th of 1990. Uh, and if you take out the end credits of this movie, this movie is on for 90 minutes. So, this movie isn't very long, it isn't short, it's paced just right, you know. And I have to say, in this movie, there was no scenes of boredom. There was no scenes where you wanted to take a leak by pushing pause, going up, taking a piss and coming back down. From start to finish, I thought this movie was really well done you know i thought the action in this movie was incredible i love the editing especially in the fight scenes it's done the old-fashioned way and i think that way is the best you know the atmosphere of the prison was really well done you know like the colors you know like the like the blue and all the mist you know it really looked like a dark setting of a prison so it was really well lit so the, the settings in this movie like i thought were really incredible i thought they really stood out with all the different scenes, you know, the scene where Van Damme goes to meet Priest, you know, in like the basements part of the um, of the prison, where he's got this harem, you know, of all these women, but really they are, they they're guys dressed as women, you know, fucked up scene, but I like the scene and I like the guy who played Priest. He plays a good role in this movie. He ends up being on Van Damme's side, you know. When you watch it for the first time, you think he's like. He's going to be one of the main assholes, but now he was like, you know, becoming like a psychic to Van Damme. Um, the ending scene, you know, where Van Damme's fighting the Sandman, you know, the whole atmosphere around it is like really cool, you know. you got the prisoners cheering on the fight, you know. you got the boiler scene, you know. And speaking of boiler scene, I thought to myself, is this, is this going to be like a Nightmare on Elm Street type of movie, you know, like a horror film? Because... When this movie first opens up, it opens up with like this really scary music. And I'm thinking to myself, <laughs> Van Damme in a horror movie? That doesn't make sense. I mean, I know it's not going to be a horror movie, but if you just listen to the music at the start of this, you know, where the film is opening up, you know, it does feel like a horror movie. You know, the sound of the music, like it's like a, it's like a very dark tone music, like a Nightmare on Elm Street music, you know. So, which I don't mind, I love Freddy. Got the Freddy tattoo right here, so if you're going to reference a horror movie and, you know, you've got the boiler room, you know, with, with the boilers, again, that's Nightmare on Elm Street again, so I don't personally mind. 
it had like a scary, like a scary, like type of feeling with the opening. But um, I thought the opening was cool anyway. But like I said, the atmosphere of the prison was just done really well done in this movie. It was dark, it was scary. It looked like one of those typical, hardcore, rough American prisons. You know, every film that they're shot in. I mean, even that room where that guy was being burnt alive, you know, where he's banging on the glass while he's on fire. Even the atmosphere in that room seemed really dark, scary. If for a typical prison hell type of setting. Yeah, you know, the mess hall. Um, that little scene where Van Damme's hiding on the ceiling, you know, and the blood's dropping, and he gets that cup of coffee and makes the blood drop into the coffee, which seemed like a Spider-Man type of scene, but that's just my my honest opinion. It felt like a Spider-Man scene because there's a scene in Spider-Man that's similar to that. So um, that that was a cool scene. I mean, basically, the plot of this movie, Van Damme's playing this undercover cop. Um, so let me check his name one more time. Detective Lewis Burke. You know, when he gets in this mission to be an undercover prisoner into this prison where he's investigating, you know, these crimes, basically. Basically, all the prisoners and the some of the prison guards are all working together, gathering dead bodies. And there's this um, doctor or scientist... Who's donating the organs and you know getting the organs and selling them on the black market, you know? And basically, Van Damme is like investigating this. He's like trying to get to the root of it, you know, find out what's going on, how this is all progressing, you know, and all that type of thing. Um, one or two scenes that I did like. I mean, I like that scene where Van Damme first goes to the prison and he meets his cellmate. You know, this guy thinks he can bully Van Damme, you know, push him around because he's a newcomer. And this guy, this prisoner is, like, acting all tough. He tells Van Damme to suck his dick or whatever. And then Van Damme, like, gets him up the wall and threatens him. And the guard's like, hey, just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> like, not so fucking tough after all. Which you'd fucking expect in a prison anyway. But, um... It was cool how Van Damme stood up to the prisoner and the prisoner was like a pussy after all. Doesn't want anything to do with Van Damme. You know, because he counters one of his moves or whatever. Tries to threaten him and it just did not work out. Um, back to the fire scene again, you know, when the guy's on fire and he's banging on the glass while on fire. Some good practical effects with the fire. So, one thing this movie did not fail on at all was all the effects. You know, even the fight scenes, it was all done like in slow motion and like you could tell it was done by one cameraman. But I love the old style of how they film these fight scenes. I mean, like I said, this movie came out in the year 1990. And the problem is with today's films, you know, it's all done with CGI and they use one or two more cam cameramen. It's all fast pace. It's just not the same. I prefer the slow pace where it's done the old fashioned way. I don't know if many any other people are you know, agree with me on that terms, but um, the old way is the best way, I mean, that's my problem with today's movies, they're so easy to make now, you can edit a scene on a computer, add a sound effect by pushing a fucking button, where back in those days they had to fucking do everything by hand, you know, it was much more harder, they had to play out the part, there was no technology back then where they could cheat the, cheat the way out of the music of a button or anything like that, it was all fucking done you know by hand basically and that's just not in movies i'm talking about music in general you know they had to make the stuff back then where today you can easily make music you know just an example to every movie even movies that you like i say there's a downside i mean like i said i love death warrant i mean like i said the reason why it's one of my favorites is because it just all fit in well for me like when i talk about the atmosphere of the prison where I talk about the fight scenes, you know, especially the ending scene, you know, where Van Damme's having a fight with Sandman. Epic fight scene. You know, there's so many kick-ass moments, I mean. The scene where they're going back and forth with the punches, the kicks. Sandman breaks a light bulb, tries to slice Van Damme with it. Van Damme kicks it out of his hand. He does these cool moves where Sandman ends up going into a boiler, ends up getting burned, you know. Killing, he gets out of the boiler saying, I'm the Sandman, you can't kill me. 
And Van Damme's like, like, fuck you, and finishes him off, and all that kind of thing. You know, so the good burning effects. So the fighting scenes were spot on in this movie. Um, the atmosphere, the editing, the music. The music really fitted the fighting scenes in this movie. So, if I have to talk about a downside in this movie, a movie that I didn't really take too seriously was like, the romance scene that Van Damme had with this woman, I mean, yeah, they have sex, yeah, they kiss at the end of the movie, but it was one it was one part of the movie that I thought was a bit, mm, don't really buy that. I mean, they could have worked, I don't know if working harder on the romance scene is, was like an important part of this movie, but you know how it goes in these type of movies, you know, there's going to be a bit of romance, you know, where the hero gets the girl and all that kind of stuff, but... Like I said, they have sex and they kiss, but other than that, I didn't think they go really deep with the romance side of things in this movie. So, I don't know if they should have taken it out or just put more effort into that type of scene. But, um, again, it was one of those parts of the movies where I'm like, mm, okay, I don't really care about that. But everything else about this movie was really spot on. I mean, I like the characters, not just Jean-Claude Van Damme's character, I like the Sandman character. A great villain, intimidating presence, you know, like this don't fuck with me type of attitude, you know, the way he's pushing his weight around like he's, he's like the top dog of the prison, you know. Van Damme earns the respect of all the other prisoners when he finishes the Sandman off, you know, because he makes his way past all the prisoners and the prisoners are all backing off saying, we don't want anything to fucking do with Van Damme, you know what I mean? This guy's killed Sandman, you know. We don't want to fuck with you. So they all let him pass, you know. The ending was just right, you know, where he kissed the girl and then the, the credits roll. But um, I like I liked the, um, the priest character, you know, who I thought was going to be the arsehole, you know, where there's a scene where Van Damme goes, like, into the basement side of the prison, you know, where there's this harem, you know. <laughs> this, 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 this creepy scene. But um, he ends up being a, a, like a sidekick to Van Damme. And I thought he was a good character. I thought he portrayed his character really well. The intimidation with the eyes and all that kind of thing. So his character really stood out. But again, the plot of this movie was, it's like, it's like, like I said, just said it's very simple about Van Damme being this undercover cop. You know, trying to get to the root of these crimes, you know. Find out that the prison officers and the guards are working together. They're gathering these dead bodies, you know, and the organs are going to the black market and all that kind of stuff. So, um, fair plot. And like I said, the movie's not on for very long, just 90 minutes without the end credits. So it was a good pace. It wasn't too long, wasn't too short. And again, I had fun with this movie. I really had fun with this movie. And I say it's my favourite one so far because I was just blown away. Buy everything, it had everything in it for me. The best editing, there was no scenes that were dragging or boring. Every time there was a fight scene with Van Damme, I was really intrigued and I got into the, the fighting. Um, the music was stood out really well with the fighting. Although I said that the music at the start of the movie seemed like horror bass, it was still, you know, cool to listen to and... Again, it's got everything in it that you see in a Van Damme movie. It's got the violence, you know, the bad language and all that kind of shit. So, definitely one of Van Damme's best ones, by the way. And I have said this is my favourite one so far, but I'm probably going to change my mind down the road when I see some more Van Damme movies. I'm going to say, that's my new favourite one. I mean, if the, act, if the acting stands out, if the choice of characters are right, I mean, if the fighting scenes stand out and get kick-ass, you know, it's more than likely going to top it. But... Um, Best one I've seen so far, Death Warrant, you know, I'm so glad that on my previous review when I reviewed a movie like Black Eagle, you know, so glad I saw a better movie after that, Death Warrant, you know, I don't know which movie's going to come next, but again, I hope it's going to be one of the Van Damme best ones, you know. So, um, overall, I have no reason to give this movie a 10 out of 10, considering it's my new favourite one so far. I mean, let's look at uh, how this movie did well at the box office. Um, according to what I'm reading here, the film debuted strongly at the box office, opening with a $5 million weekend at place number three. And it would gross over $16 million at the domestic box office. 
However, the critical response was generally unfavourable, but the movie was strong at the box office, despite that. Um, according to this, the film was started in August of 1989. Um, I've already mentioned the official release date. It was September 14th of 1990. Yeah, budget of $6 million dollars. Made four point six seven million dollars at the box office. Yeah. So overall, everybody, I'm really satisfied with Death Warrant. Um, hopefully, there might be a better one along the way, but this one's my favourite one so far. I mean, what do you think about Death Warrant? I'd like to hear your reviews. Did you like the movie? Did you dislike the movie? Um, is there anything you'd like to add? Anything you'd like to say? Anything you recommend? Because I'm fully into the Van Damme movies at the moment and I'm watching them all and having a blast. So um, hopefully we'll get more reviews in the future, but mainly a Van Damme movie. When I get more, when I get time, you know, with work schedule and all that, I'll watch some more Van Damme movies and hopefully do a review on them. But thanks for watching this, everybody. This is Death Warrant. And um, please like, rate, comment and subscribe. Thanks, everyone. Peace out.